How many of you have heard that you have the question marks and the parameters and all those things in your URLs is not a good thing? How many of you have heard that? Good. Let me show you a live example of how that truly is the case. Answers.com uh, had a page rank 8 out of 10, and, which is a good thing, of course. And I went to their business section and looked at the URLs as they load. Their business section, very friendly URL. No question marks, no equals, no ampersands, no session IDs, nothing. So we saw exactly what we saw with the NFL. Next level down, and from an 8, this should probably be a 7. That's great. Now, if I go to a page like Currency, which I've lost a lot of here in Vegas, <laughs> you're going to see the flow continue to happen. Okay, there we go. So just look down one more, if you notice in my toolbar. I am now down at a 6. Home page was an 8. The next level was a 7. This page is a 6. URL was fine. Answer.com slash library slash currency. No question marks, no equals, no spaces. When I go to their real estate section, see this URL now, it's got all those percentage signs in it? Notice, their page rank for this is a zero. What? It's a zero. And it's linked from the same exact page as the currency page. Business. There's currency, which we clicked on before, and I lost a lot of them. And then we have, where is it? Real estate terms. And because they put spaces in their URL, the page rank is not flowing through this page at all. When it's downloaded, you'll see it. There it goes, it's gone. They can try to, to optimize this page to hold the heaven for words that revolve around real estate terms. There's a good chance they're not going to get it because their architecture is not aligned that will do it. This is a fix they can do like that. And I think they will. Hopefully, someone somewhere will tell them. Question. Underscores are fine. Underscores and dashes are fine. It's question marks, equals, spaces, little ampersands. Um, those things usually cause an issue. was this part from what was heard in your name? Joe. Joe, thanks for the question, Joe. That the search engines are starting to see this content. And I agree, they are. But search engine optimization is a very, how risky do you want to be business? I know if they rewrote that, there's no question that the search engines are going to see it. If you want to wait and see if they pick it up, that's fine. That's okay. There's a good chance they will. But you can't take, I don't take risks with my search strategy. If I know the other pages are all getting the page ranked just fine, and that one, it's totally going away for it, there's a good chance that I'm going to say, you know what? Do I want to find out eight months from now whether or not Google really picks that up the same way it does the others? And my answer to that is no. I tend to not go against what I know already works as a general rule of thumb. Uh, one more follow-up to that. Sure. Most search engines and all they have is a search engine and It could. It could definitely. Uh, there's, a, there's a question about inbound linking. And if people start deep linking to that page, is there a good chance that, that page has a chance to get page rank? Absolutely. What I would do is I would try my best to use. See, the part about inbound links that's hard is you have to really go out there and try to get them. You have to develop some great content to pull those links. They can pull down to the guy that runs the server and say, can you change this one thing and put dashes instead of spaces? And that's five minutes. The, the, the momentum that it takes to get the links is a lot more of a building on the longer process.